Greetings Metalheads and welcome to another edition of the Friday 13th YouTube channel. I'd like to thank everybody who has subscribed so far. If you haven't, please do it's free, give a thumbs up, leave comments, much appreciate it. Okay, so the next interview I'm going to let you listen to is an interview with Ian Hill from the band Judas Priest. This was recorded back in 1996 when the band were recording the album Jugulator. I had the very much pleasure of meeting the band in the studio and asking them some questions as well as listening to advanced songs from the forthcoming album. What a day that was, one of the best days of my life. <laughs> anyway, so enjoy the interview with Ian. Ian, if you're watching this, stay safe. Um, let's do another interview, it would be fantastic if we could. Anyway, Metalheads, please enjoy, share on Twitter, Instagram, uh, Facebook and any social media you can. So take care, be safe like I said, and I'll speak to you all soon. Plenty more audio interviews coming. Cheers. A few questions with uh, Ian Hill from Judas Priest. First of all, Ian, can you tell me Tom, what's your how uh, Tim ex expects to fill Rob Halford's boots, meaning vocally, and will he be accepted by the diehard fans? I think so, yeah. I mean, it is, it's, a, it's, a, it's a great bloke to start with. He really is a nice fella. He's a fucking phenomenal vocalist. He can do uh, all of our old stuff and some, you know, he, he can, you're not going to miss a thing with all the old numbers. I mean, someone we, we can, we can, you know, we, we can sort of march into the future with as well, you know, we can do all the new stuff. <coughs> so we're, uh, we're, we're really looking forward to getting on the road, you know, to, to one of the big reasons is to, to show people that we can do the old stuff, you know, it's going to be really, really interesting. Right. Really looking forward to it, you know. So what about? The diehard fans, how do you think they're going to accept him with like Rob well, Green, not in the band anymore? There's always, go, there's always going to be a few, you, 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 you never, it doesn't matter who you have, you know. <laughs> yeah, there's always going to be some people that, you, that you're not going, to, uh, not going to please. But I think, um, I don't know, well, you, you just heard, heard the music, I mean it's, it's unmistakably shit. Judas Priest. Yeah, oh yeah, you, the good thing is that you've kept the guitar sound. <laughs> You've gone heavy, but you've kept the sound. He's, he's very similar vocalist to Rob as well. Yeah. Uh, with, uh, um, it, it, with, with any other vocalist, it would, probably would have sounded a bit different. If you know what I mean. Yeah. A lot of people have been been worried about a little change of direction. You know, through not being able to do the. You know. Yeah. You know, go, go along the whole route. But uh, we haven't. We haven't. I haven't had to do that at all. I mean, it, it's priest, pure Judas priest, and it wouldn't have sounded any different. Well, it wouldn't have sounded differently, with Rob on it, but it wouldn't have certainly sounded sound any better. It probably sounded a lot worse. <laughs> right, you never approach so, uh, anybody such as uh, Russ Anderson from Forbidden. He's got a pretty strong voice. Uh, we had a short list. We had thousands of applicants. Yeah, right. <laughs> <It's too good laughs> I can imagine. You used to listen to them all. You know. The videos and, and cassettes, we had, we had literally thousands of them and um, after many, many hours uh, at the, uh, wading through them, we had a short list of about 10, 12 and um, in the process of putting some very rough versions of these tracks, that, you know, a couple of these tracks that you've heard, um, we, get, we got to hear about Tim through a, the video tag that Scott brought over. And we saw this guy, and we just couldn't believe it, you know. So, yeah. In fact, there, there was a point where we thought he was miming to a tape. You know, it was a video of a live yeah. show. Yeah. You know? yeah. So, with a few phone calls, a couple of days later, we got him over here, you know. And he, uh, we, we had a, we had a multi-track of um, ages old ones of um, victim of changes, and uh, we got him to sing, took Rob's vocal off it. I'm going to sing along with it after about the first few few bars. Yeah, so we, we, we got our man, you know. That's wow. it. It, was, it was uncanny. It's the first bit of luck this band's ever had. You know, we've always done everything the fucking hard way. Right. You know, all of a sudden we get the, you know, got a stroke of luck like this. Unbelievable. Yeah, it's kind of, I was kind of surprised you didn't audition the guy from a band called Apocrypha. Have you ever heard them? He's like total Halford all the way. But he, I don't know if he was looking for some new Halford well, we, we, or we didn't really want to. We didn't want to clown. I mean, although. <coughs> Pardon me, I don't think I'm dying of TB. Right. Although, although Ripper's well capable of singing like Rob, yeah. he's, he's not. He's not a clown as such. 
is. Um, which is which is what attra- which is another thing that attracted us to him, you know. Although he, you know he, he, he knows all the songs, he can, he can sing you anything. Well, we'll be sitting in a studio and he'll come walking by singing a song that we haven't played for about 15 years. What's that? Oh yeah, I remember. He knows a lot. Well, but uh, but he's got his own style as well, you know. He's got his own. So what were the actual songs you just played for us today? What the song titles? Uh, so the first one was um, Bullet Train. The second one was Death Row. The third one was... Yeah, thanks. <laughs> no, Bloodstone. Bloodstone. Yeah, Bloodstone. Remix of Bloodstone. Yeah, then, then Dead, Dead Meat and Cathedral Spires. All right, so how many tracks is going to be on this album? Ten. Ten. So far. Yeah, what's, the, what's the clock in in time of the album? After being absent for like five or six years of an album release, is it going to be... Yeah, like, well, five or six years, a, a few weeks here or there. Is it going to be, like, like, difference. Is it gonna be like a 60-minute album or longer? Or? Uh, or you just want to deliver a quality album lasting like I'll 45 see, I'll minutes? See no, it's, it's going gonna, it's gonna to be... There's some long track. Well, Cathedral Spires is about nine... nine, nine minutes long right um, yeah it's going to be a long album right yeah, okay. just uh, questions <laughs> oh sorry <sure. laughs> right, okay All right, then, my next question is so why has it taken so long to find the right singer <coughs> well like I say we did have a lot of applicants Glenn was also in the middle of the solo project as yeah. well at the time and that, 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 that took a, a bit longer than we all thought um, uh, I mean Rob Rob actually left the band at the end of 92 you know his solo sort of project to into a solo yeah. career you know and it knocked the wind out of ourselves for a little bit and inevitably questions were asked you know are we going to carry on you know? and Glenn went off and did his own thing and then we had so many applicants you know we didn't even advertise we right. tell everybody you know people just started to swamp that the office with, with, all, with all, all these you know so we started listening to the vocalists Got everybody's enthusiasm back up, you know, and uh, decided to give it a go. I'm really pleased we are, you know. It's, yeah, it's, I'm it's, pleased you are. We say it every time. We say every time we say this is the best thing we've ever done. But this is the best thing we've yeah. ever done. Yeah, the heaviest shadow, of shadow of a doubt. This is a fucking phenomenal. Do you album. think a lot of Judas Priest fans are going to feel that you're going to like lose the guitar sound and try to be like a Pantera sound or Machine Head because you've gone heavier? Well, got heavier, yeah. You know, we do tune with a couple of notches. Yeah. But uh, Ken and Ken and Glenn started playing ain't gonna change, you know. Oh, right. Who's been an uh, excellent guitarist so I can't see him changing. <laughs> <laughs> the next question is uh as Tim if he's such a good singer, um has he made a good impact big impact and why is it taking so long to record a new album? <coughs> Basically because we've had the time I suppose. Um the, the new record companies have been very, very good good to us, you know, they haven't put, put any sort of, any to, you know, strict time schedules together, they just said so many words, we want an album, we want it to be good, as long as it takes to get it there, uh, they're, they're happy with that. Um, the, the other thing is, I mean, Tim is so good, you know, <laughs> we, we recorded uh, three of the songs just to incorporate a few more things that Tim could do on it. Right, yeah. And we're just taking a lot of time, you know. Every every, every track is like a production piece as well. Um, and like I say, once you've got all these tracks, you've got to mix them. You know, we've been mixing now for about a month. It's going to take us probably another month to finish it. Right. Or some, whatever. It's cool. It will take a week or two. You know, so uh, we, we just, we're just being very careful and, and we just want this to... Take it to and make it the best yeah. one where people out the night put you down. Well, that's it. You yeah. Know. Well, cool. we, don't, we don't want anybody to be able to pick any holes out of this. Well, this album's going to get 100% yeah. in my fanzine. 100% well, all thanks. the way. Yeah, we appreciate that. Right, then my next question is, why the, the album title Juggalator? Was that yeah, I just claimed that one. I think he thought of that. <laughs> yeah? <laughs> yeah? Yeah, I don't know. It's um, a usual title. <laughs> it was, well, it's, there's, a, there's a song called Juggalator, and... Uh, it, it just added a strong title, you know, so we thought, yeah, we're going to go with it. It started out as a working title, um, but uh, so it sort of stuck. Right. So we uh, we kept it. Yeah. But, but the reasons were higher. Uh, you could, uh, would be Glenn. <laughs> I think it was Glenn or Ken. Right. Okay, my next qu- last question is, um, so you changed, I've recently <coughs> understand you just changed the logo of the band slightly. Yeah. How uh, was that? Was it because... 
Tim was in the band and you wanted to show people that you were still around but you've gone in a different direction yeah, sort so of you don't want to keep the old sound or yeah I mean, it's, it's, it's very, you know the old one I think oh when that one first come out the old logo that was Eighty-two, I think. Well, the 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 the, the, the cross. All oh, right, I mean, I meant the, the old actual Judas Priest yes, race itself. I yeah, think that 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 seventy-five was it? Something seventy-six. I think it was, yeah. It was one of the earlier albums. Yeah, it must have been. Um, I think it was Killing Machine, wasn't it? Or no, it was the one before that. It was Unleashed uh, in the East. No, it's in that. It uh, was. Uh, shit, shit, yeah. Stone Class. Stone Class. That was it. Yeah, I think it was on that one. Right, yeah. It was the first one it was on. Um, I just fancy the change, you know. Seven years without without a studio album, you know. Six without without being on the road. Yeah. So I just thought we'd be fresh and, you know, we've got a new front man. So I just thought we'd fresh up the uh, fresh up the logo as well. Yeah. Right. Okay. And thanks for the <laughs> questions. Anything You're welcome, Jason. Um, hey, listen. I know it's been a long time waiting for this album, but believe me, it's going to be worth it. And we yeah. really do appreciate you guys being so patient with us. And we'll see it on the road.